me uh, let me just get a get a get a shot of what we've got going here. We should leave Canada. Ottawa should leave Canada, absolutely. Yeah, well, we're, we're kind of going for some sort of imperialism, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but also some anti-imperialism simultaneously uh, to balance it out. Um, anyway, so what we're doing here... What are we doing? What are we doing here? You know, we're trying to build a big wall. We're trying to build a big wall around Ottawa, Ontario. I like that. Okay, why are you trying to build a big wall? Okay, so it's a two-step process. One, big wall around Ottawa, Ontario. We separate from the rest of Canada, right? So, mayor of Ottawa. Huh? Have you ever been at the Banff of the Great City? And I think I could yourself? easily become king of Canada. I don't come at all. My wow, right. I love to hear it. Good luck. Thank you, sir. And I hope to see you around. But you know what would be better than that? That one in Ottawa. Taking yeah. the foundation, the land that we hold in common in the city, and putting the first brick down to build a big and beautiful wall. And then once we have our wall, we leave the country, and we're all better off. If you want to make that happen, here's the man who will do it. I'm running for mayor. Um, it doesn't have to be so grandiose, right? I'm just, uh, I'm just a guy, got some ideas. I think the youth vote is important. How's it going? Not bad. Good to meet you. Good to meet you. Uh, running for mayor. Very um, cool. We are trying to build a big wall around Ottawa, Ontario. Uh, it's called the Ottawa Wall. We want to do an Ottawa exit. Uh, we want to print our own money. If we print our own money, we can direct our resources more efficiently and give everybody a government job. Wall around that. Is that right? What's yeah. it called? Uh, the Wall. It's the shape of our movement, the Wall. It's heart-shaped. Oh, it's hard shit. Yeah. Oh, I see. Is this wall truck proof or are we going to deal Yeah, it's, it's truck proof. Oh, that's um, good, that's good. The truckers would not be able to enter due to the big wall. I mean, if there were Ottawa truckers, it'd be a different story, but uh, they are, most of the truckers were from the western provinces. We're going to do a rally. So, uh, we don't have any information, you but if you, <laughs> just, if you just, think just about it, you if you think about it, the coordinates will appear in your head. 47.832. <laughs> There's no six, way nine. you believe in this, man. We believe, we in, believe in this. Uh, there's no way. So there's, there's, oh, there's, there's, there's an auto wheel? Are you familiar with post-irony? No, man, inform me. Okay, so if we were being ironic, this would be a joke. We would be like, we would be saying that, oh, a wall around Ottawa, that's stupid. What we're actually trying to do is get you to think about the idea so that you agree with it. What does this benefit? Okay, so if you separate from the rest of the world, you can print your own money. You lost it. Whoa, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You, you can money. print your own money. Lot, print money? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, okay, hold on. You know what China does, right? It prints its own currency. It creates its own currency. It can control the value of its currency. If the more you participate in the global economy, the more reliant you are on all other nations. If you separate, you get to control how much money you have. And at that point, money just becomes a resource that you direct people towards doing things. Oh, so then we're Destroying all billionaires. The well, and we all get everything, everything. Relax. Everything we not everyone, imagine, not right? everyone's going to be a billionaire. Well, but what we can well, promise we is that we can print enough money to pay everybody to work a government job. Now everybody here, I mean, wants a government Which job. Which destroys the value of everything. No, 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 See, in theory, that really nice. works, except uh -huh. in reality, it does not. It, it's, uh -huh. it's like com communism. Uh, whoa, 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 hold on, hold on. Look, no up. one, no one how, here. How not? Because it ends no, up being one person. Let's not use money. the C word, okay? Yeah, uh, listen, we can all agree communism is a murderous ideology that's killed what one billion that? people. Communism yeah. itself, in theory, isn't a bad idea. It's the way that we practice. But we're not it. acting communists. Yeah. We're not communists. We're anti-centrists. Yeah, we don't like centrism. The way that things are, are bad. Now, I'm not saying that communism is the you're way to go. Center-left, center-right, we don't like you. Uh, yeah, anything center... Well, it's not that we don't like you, it's just that we think that there's a ways to go in your philosophy. And that's fine, you're young people, you're developing your minds, totally cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the productive power of capital and then redistribute that productive power amongst the people. It's kind of like communal capitalism. It is a perfect blend of... Uh, what's another word for communism? If you could solve that, and you can solve that pretty easily, then people could care more about the environment. They could care more about their family. They could care more about their community. And unless we suggest something new, something old, like communism or another isms, uh, I was going to take over instead. That was a little too sincere. I could tell a joke now. Probably. Uh, Bazinga. Uh, one last thing. Yep. What about foreign relations? 
So, no, no need. Exactly. So is this gonna be North Korean style? Okay. And they come <laughs> I, look, North Only Korea has some problems. Do we get democratic vote on But the you have to agree that this is very close to that. Are you leader or you just make abolishing the democratic It's anarcho-totalitarianism. All right, so you, it is. You give me the power, what do not You give me the power, I give the power back to you. Right. I'm a big believer in direct democracy. All right. I think everyone Guys, should not, should have a say <laughs> on uh, on what they, you know, North Korea is pretty democratic. That's democratic in name. The national identity of, of Ottawa, government jobs, right? Everyone comes to Ottawa with a world famous government job. And then you can just kind of take it easy for the rest of your life. Really, you're, you're only going to be working like one or two hours a day. Unless you want to work more than that, but you probably aren't. Oh, are you in this shit too? I'm in this guy. You have over 6,000 volunteers. <laughs> You're oh. such a liar, bro. You have over 6,000 no? volunteers. Bro, and our last bro. rally had, what, 4,000 people? Yeah, You're really yeah good? by yeah. some estimate. I will see you uh, as I'm at the top of the Peace Tower, waving down at you all as you all work your new government jobs. Perfect. You know, I've worked a government job and uh -huh. everybody needs one. Everyone it's, it's needs a, a government crime job. People don't have it's a universal basic right, I think. Absolutely. That's what my parents yeah. keep on telling me. Yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Mine did as well. And now, now I'm schizophrenic, so things have worked out. Yeah. So we like Ottawa. We want Ottawa to prosper, and we want to double down on everything that makes Ottawa what Ottawa is. And a big part of Ottawa is the government jobs. Oh, right. Yeah. I mean, people move to Ottawa because they get to work one to two hours a day at the government jobs. And they get free dental, they get, yeah, they get a bunch of good stuff. So we just want to, we just think everyone deserves that basic human right. And uh, we think that the way to do that is by harnessing the productive power of capital. Any questions so far? Or uh, I can keep So if nobody has to work, what's going to happen to our grocery stores? You will have to work. You have to work one hour a day. All of us have the time, the energy, and the capabilities of doing what we need to do. It's just, I mean, come on. How many hours a day do you waste? How many hours a day do you waste? You, how many hours a day do you waste? All of them. How many hours a day do you waste? Ten hours a day? Ten hours. You can still waste nine hours a day, and everyone will still be able to do whatever, whatever they need to do. The, the established people actually benefit from the youth not caring about politics. Because if they did care about politics, they would actually vote for the things they believe in. And if we voted for the things we believe in, then things might actually change. Candidates do not do anything to solve any problems. Yeah. But I can tell that you, you will definitely do a lot of things. Thank you. Do you mind if I do Yes. Oh, so yes. Our corruption will be out in the open. Unlike all the other... Transparency. Like transparency, it. yes. Ah, we're, we're yeah, about transparency. We want to be so transparent, you can't even see us, you know? How would you deal with uh, population? Yeah, so that's so that's a big thing. I've been to some climate debates, right? And the thing that keeps coming up in climate debates is Ottawa is expected to grow by 500,000 people. Ottawa is expected to grow by a half a million people over the next 25 years. Already, we don't really have enough like homes for the people within Ottawa. The thing that we just take for granted in our political system is that population must go up. We have to have more and more population, more and more population. Or we build a big wall around Ottawa. No more population. Uh, the world is ending. People don't really see this yet, but the, the wasps getting more and more aggressive is a sign of climate change, which will be made worse if we don't have some sort of protection around places like this. I agree, at a certain point you have to cap it, right? There is not a single person on the ballot that agrees with you. Everybody thinks that things should keep going as they are. We are gonna have, no, there's nobody who's saying we don't want to million decline people. actually does start to become an issue. That's where uh, we have two sort of things that we can do about that. One is called negative borders, where our borders are so open we suck people in. I mean, we're not going to need, say, the airport anymore, because no one's going to want to leave because it's so great and they can't either. Um, and what then, about people coming in? They're so, <laughs> people coming in. Um, What's yeah. your political philosophy, like Aut Ottawa nationalism, uh, separatism? So it, it, it's Ottawa nationalism in a way. Okay. Yeah. We do plan to eventually, once we win, win the mayoral campaign, we're expected to win. Uh, polls have us at what, 80? 100%. 100%. 100%. Yeah. We are projected to win, for our mayoral campaign, we are projected to win 100% of the vote. Yeah, 95. <laughs> I, I'm coming from the background mm -hmm. where we have balls. Yes. Around the universities have wall, yeah. some housing societies have wall. Mm -hmm. But when I came here, I was happy that university don't have outer wall. Mm -hmm. But now you're thinking to put a wall around the city. Yes. I'm thinking. Because that's what we're talking about. That's why I'm thinking maybe you're going to. But it's to not that, that good from where we come that's from. That's not a good idea. Well, so. Um, we know how walls. 
Yes. How, How, what so happens when you have walls? Divide. Yeah. Divide. Divide. You are divide. talking yeah. about creating divide. Mm -hmm. Means your city is divided. Yes. Yeah. So you are telling that you can no, 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 no. exist. Uh, means so without depending on anything. Yes. Yeah. Which is not practical, possible. Mm -hmm. We have to coexist. Yes. Yeah. It's, it's not possible that you build a wall and you will be existing as a city. And yeah, I totally, I totally agree with you. Um, in times of expansion, in times, in t when time, when times are good, that that totally makes sense. That's a great policy, and I totally believe. In it. Um, but unfortunately, I don't think that, that really makes sense for when things are bad. So essentially, when times are bad, uh, people tend to retreat inwards. Um, when resources when resources are scarce, when things get tough, uh, people tend to retreat inwards. I mean, climate change right now is pretty bad, and there's going to be a lot of people displaced because of, because of climate change. And um, have you ever seen World War Z? So there's a scene in World War Z where there's a bunch of zombies and they're trying to crawl up a wall, right? You need a different metaphor. You need a different metaphor. <laughs> uh, there's a scene in uh, 2012 where there's this big water coming at you. And uh, it might be helpful to have a big wall to blast the water away. Uh, when things oh, yeah, get bad, 100%. people turn inwards. They get selfish. They get self-centered. You know, when you're, you're doing well, you can you can expand outside your family, Absolutely. and you can like take care of other people. But when you're doing poorly, you shrink inwards. What I'm suggesting is we shrink inwards like turtles, scared of the rest of the world, xenophobic, and then we just uh, double down on whatever we are right now. What is this? Someone say it in the microphone. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Oh, never mind. Um, so, wait, sorry, I missed your question. What was it? So basically, what do we do with the parliament? Uh, okay, so I'm going to go on the on the top of the peace tower, right? I'm going to wave at everybody at 9 a.m. So at 9 a.m., I'm going to be like, hello, everybody. Welcome to your government job. And uh, yeah, essentially, uh, that's that's basically it. That's what we're doing. Um, but the country of Canada is still going to want to have a parliament. Oh, absolutely. I, know, I, I, totally, yeah, I totally understand what you're saying. Um, I think that the, the issue uh, is that we don't really care about the rest of Canada. Oh, I mean, okay. that's on them. They can decide where they want to put the new capital. It could be in Toronto, which we will take eventually. We, it could be in uh, Kingston. It could be anywhere. By not sharing this place with anyone well, else. If you love something, don't you want to like keep it to yourself? I was thinking of putting a cage around to Tor Toronto to like kind of contain the spread. Ooh, I like that. Toronto cage? Yeah, yeah. yeah really, yeah. like a dome. You know, there has been suggestions for an auto dome or an auto ceiling. Uh, I'm all ceiling for it. I, I like the idea. I just think wall first, then we can have this conversation. It's post ironic. Yeah. If you'd like, here's a wall. Think of it as a brick that you can put in the wall. Oh, nice. Yeah. Can I interest you in a wall? Divine and Cagre. Oh, wait. It's got no information. Oh, we'll raise oh, funds for the wall. A wall for all. Let's say wall. Just um, take a wall. Take a wall. Oh, I'd love one. Yeah. Oh. Uh, think, of it, think of this as a brick, you know, in, uh -huh. the, in the wall. Can Pretty I interest you in a wall? Okay, sure. Can I interest you in a wall? I'd love a wall. Can I interest you in a wall? Oh my God, this the wall. See, I get dopamine from handing out the wall. So. It has no useful information whatsoever. Yeah. Oh, let's go. You're right. This is a brick in the wall. Uh, if you want to take it, it has no information yeah, sure. on it. It's just Thank a you. brick in the wall. I don't know what to do with this. Um, there's going to be money in the future yeah, in your wall society. Future currency of Those are future Autobots. Ottawa hold, <laughs> hold, hold on to them. Oh, okay. You can go. exchange an, uh, one, uh, one of those walls for 10 Autobots. No flag, no flag. What's the currency yeah. going to be called? I'm bored. Uh, here, Autobots. Here, I'll show you how to do Autobots. Yeah, Autobots. How do, how, uh, and what yeah. does 10 Autobots buy? An Autobot is just like a regular dollar, but it only buys stuff in Ottawa, Ontario. Yeah, and uh, we're so gonna gonna be, ten dollars. we're gonna be yeah. we're, we're gonna be localizing our food production and stuff, agriculture, and control our own currency with modern monetary theory. Who would who would get to keep the the Canadian currency? Would it be Ottawa? Or? So we would have our own currency. We would make our own currency to control it. So we're controlling our own currency, like other countries do. Okay. Yes. Yeah, and actually, so it's it's a bit complicated, but it's called modern monetary theory. Uh, and then two. We print our own money. So what well, you have to understand, okay, is, any, is anyone here familiar with modern monetary theory? Yeah. Modern monetary theory? That's the way. Basically, it's what we're doing right now already. It's just no one fucking realizes. Okay, so we oh, print, you're you're the the we base the value on what we think it is. Pretty much, yeah. yeah, yeah. So mo here's how money works, okay? Five Your dollars. government turns the tap on, I money comes it. out. They can print as much money as they want. When you get taxed, they don't need your tax money. They throw it in the garbage. They, don't, they just don't want you to have it. When they take your money away, they reduce your purchasing power, which allows goods to balance out, okay? 
That's what we're doing already. We're like 60% there. Parliament uh -huh. Canada is going to be really, uh -huh. you know, might declare yeah. war. Yes. yes. Yeah, right. So we don't want that to happen. What? Yeah, yeah, I don't think, I don't know. Right. I mean, it could be helpful. Yeah, yeah. 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 Shouldn't we yeah. demonstrate? Right. 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 Wait, wait, so are you very much odd work? So see the one wrong? I was recently asked about um, the Queen video. I, I just took credit for the Queen's death as though I was a terrorist organization. I'm also running for municipal office. Is that based or cringe? Is it based or cringe? <laughs> I, I need to know. We live in a post-truth world. There's no such thing as bad press. All press is good press. That's my logic, but I'd love to know what you guys think. What do you think? Based cringe, binge, crazed? I mean, post cringe. the rhythm goes hard. Yeah, well, thank you. I yeah. appreciate it. I, I, I prepared the video six months ago. I hope you guys uh, ultimately come to support uh, me assassinating the queen. <laughs> Keep it up. Great to see you again. Great to see you again. Thank you so much. You. Hope to see you. Hope to see you guys at the rally. Really. Yeah. I do. Yeah. See you. Oh, maybe you're onto something. Did you really make that six months ago? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Hey, I'm with I the Marcus. The famous on campus. Campus. Oh, really? Yeah. So we want to know, like, when you build your wall, like, huh. what's the economy gonna be looking like here? Well, we want to control our currency. Okay. Uh, just between you and me. Support that. A little Stalinist. Um, whoa, 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 I have it on good authority that Gadno wants to join Ottawa. They're 50, 60 percent in favor as well, um, and we're gonna annex them, call them Gadden Ottawa. What are your thoughts about the industrial revolution? But not like so. Not, but yeah, I'm not a huge in terms of fan of the industrial revolution. You mean Quebec and Alberta should be joined in a beautiful union um, to counter Ontario's separatist tendencies? You have a custom building? Yeah. Uh, no, it's an Angel Fire website. No. <laughs> oh, shit. It's okay, like wait, it's wait, the wait, shittiest wait, no. website I could find. It's terrible. <laughs> like, it barely works. And sometimes no, when I'm trying to no, load it, it just right. crashes for no reason. It's horrible. But it was free. And now, now you're not trying to send us a virus or something when we click on this. Uh, like no, now, no. I, I don't want a mayor that does that. Uh, no, uh, we wouldn't, we, I would not be able to do that even if I wanted to. Thanks. Thank you. Good to meet you. I say a not a one is not an enemy because enemies are just friends you haven't annexed yet. Uh, now, if there is uh, any sort of people that do want to uh, pose us. I don't think I don't think it's likely. I think everyone's going to want to join us. But if they do, we will, you know, obviously have a military presence for situations like that. You're spending your time uh -huh. on some bullshit fucking... What is this, man? So, running for mayor. So, <laughs> have you looked at the other mayoral candidates? Yeah. Hey, what, which one do you like? Do you like any I, I of them? Don't, I, don't, I don't give a fuck about that shit. Okay, so you don't care about municipal politics. What, does anyone here care about municipal politics? Who do you like? Oh, Christ, there's no one good right now. Right? There's no one good right now. Okay, does anyone here... And the like, deep I, one I, is going to want to make you know, Ottawa its own country? But, yes, well, look, I'm, I'm, I'm looking for anyone who, who no, cares about municipal politics. Who really does think about the class? Well, <laughs> I would. But listen, I respect the question. What program are you guys in? We are with the uh, political science program. Oh, um, yeah. Nothing more scientific than politics. Makes sense. Yeah, have a good day, yeah, you too. So what we're trying to do here um, by separating Ottawa is there's there's a couple of layers to it, right? The first layer is by allowing people, by creating a spectacle around municipal politics, people get more interested in municipal politics. They're more likely to engage. They're more likely to participate. We're also creating live events, live spectacles. To be honest, we're not supposed to be here. We wandered off the street and colonized this table. I, it's very, yeah, I agree. I, I, I am genuinely impressed that you managed to put actual points in the middle of the shit post. Well, uh, you know, it's a post-ironic candidate. So yeah, I know. It comes across as ironic, but we are running on some very sincere yeah. There are some very points. valid points in there. Yeah, At the same time, though, it's yeah. a shit post. So, yeah, it and is, I find it very are, impressive you that you correct. can say all of that with a straight face. Thank you. Well, I appreciate it, but we are, at the end of the day, we you are... have here. my vote, sir. Well, awesome. I'm glad to hear it. Got my vote. Okay, well, I'm glad to hear it. I'm glad to hear it. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right, listen, man. Both, I both, uh, unironically and ironically support this campaign. I will, I will unironically do the things that I say I'm going to do. I believe you. Yeah. I believe But, uh, I mean, what we're really doing here is we're, we're trying to make the youth interested in politics in a way oh, yeah. where we can actually advocate for large ideas instead of uh, uh, just kind of like 2% uh, more of this, 2% less of that. I am a big <laughs> believer in divorce. <laughs> so I think if a, a situation is not working out, I'll get it. End it, I got right? It. Yeah. Um, there's this idea, oh, like uh, I'm dating someone and it's terrible, but I gotta stick through it. Well, why? Just break up, break up. Mm -hmm. Same thing for the country. Um, Ottawa has a rich national tapestry of an identity. It's got government jobs. Got a canal. I could go into. We have OC Transpo. We have OC Transpo. Who can forget? It's yeah. So amazing. Um, <laughs> depending on bricks of the, of the wall, I have no other information on it. Is there tape that I can add this to? I want to put this all over campus. Yeah. 
I love to hear it. That's the kind of <laughs> that's the kind of initiative I'm looking for. Here. We're not, of course, involved with any postering because it might be uh, not legal if we do it. But if it's a decentralized movement, we have no control over it. Yeah. Uh, I really hope you show those other candidates who's boss. Yes. Uh -huh. You were uh, you were assigned the job. Yeah, it's me too. Uh, I thought so. I watch my. Oh, I think we probably overstayed it. We might have overstayed. All right, let's let's get out of here. Yeah, no, I think we probably got quite a few people to show up. This is really like our location. These are the kinds of people who are interested in our message. Um, so let's decompress. <laughs> let's decompress. Um, we just campaigned. How do you feel about it? I feel we were, tired. We were in Carlton. Yeah, I feel tired as well. We were attacked by wasps. We were attacked by wasps. Sign of the apocalypse. Actual wasps, not uh, like the acronym. Yeah, the, the wasps are definitely a sign of the world ending. Yeah. They're getting more and more aggressive every day. Will the wall keep up the wasps? Yes. I think so. They can't fly that high. They're very, they're very fragile. I think young people really resonate with the message, especially like, uh, you know, the four main things were, like the unironic points that we're pushing is like lack of community, response to climate change of any, of any sort. You know, um, I just realized something based on the early discussion about yeah. climate change. Yeah. A real serious climate change position, we build the wall to get rid of the wasps. So, yeah. So to keep them out. Get the wasps out. The literal wasps. Uh, you feel pretty tired. Um, that, that, uh, that queen video caused me a lot of stress in the morning. Because uh, for a mayoral campaign to re uh, re release a video like that while they're running, lots of people said it was a bad idea. But I think the... The, the people like it, the comments like it, so we'll see how that goes. I will download it on my own time just, just to have it. Uh-huh. I won't spread it anywhere, I'll just have it. Yeah. And uh, other than that, I think uh, I think we did pretty well. I'm pretty tired. I sort yeah. of uh, feel like, uh, you know. We tried to set up in another location, but like we both were. Just oh yeah, we were, yeah. yeah and <laughs> got both, yeah. Neither of us wanted to admit it. Um, we, uh, we were both saying we're not really cut out for this, but uh, we are cutting ourselves into the shape that we need to be in order to be cut out for this. Personally, I don't really make, even if you have the camera not rolling, I would uh -huh. say this, but like, I'm not much of a leader figure. I'm, I'm more Excel at beating a number two or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm, I'm not... I, I like uh, this position a little bit, but <laughs> sometimes I'm... Yeah, I, don't, I certainly don't feel like a leader, but I feel like if I can believe in an idea hard enough, then people... I don't, feel like, I don't feel like I'm fit to lead anybody, but I feel like if I have an idea that people get inspired by, then I'm happy to have that idea, and I'm happy to push that idea. Right. Um, and I, I think some of the things we were saying were really resonating with people, like the idea of like young people um, being... Yeah, more people to vote. Like, young, the youth turnout is small. Who benefits from there being a small youth turnout? It's kind of like the people in charge already. You can call those people the centrist, the status quo. The status quo. Yeah, and like, as long as, um, as long as people run on small platform policies, uh, then that people aren't really interested in or really excited by, then um, things just aren't going to change. And if we need radical change, we need a lot of stuff to change very quickly, then... Um, then that's what we need. We need to push big ideas, yeah, I think. Someone was saying to me earlier about my politicians, it's like, or at least for the mayoral campaign, for sure, it's just kind of like, they're not really running to change things. Uh -huh. They're running to get elected. Yeah. They're running to keep their job. Yeah. Doing what they promised is kind of secondary. Yeah, I mean, it's it's so cli it's like cliche at this point that uh, your average career politician is just someone people tend not to like. And like, how do you... Like, but I, I'm thinking to myself, like, you know, I'm, I can only do this because I have a channel. I have like a voice through that. Like, that's the only thing that makes this something that like I could do. But for someone who can't do that, like a career politician, I don't know. You have to be either like delusional or rich or uh, you have to have like a lot of grassroots support in some way. But More even the then, money for advertising. well, yeah. And then like, you know, even if you're doing this, like, how do you not take developer money? Like, unless you're in a position like mine or you have like a corporation, like, Eventually, you're going to need to take like developer money or whatever, because and that's why so many. That's why we have because this idea of like you're a, not such a. Taking the developer money, sorry. To so yeah, someone if else. You're not will, taking yeah. it. Someone else will. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's very complicated, and uh, I don't know if it gives me more or less respect for like your average politician, but uh, they do work hard jobs. I mean, it is. I mean, we're doing a little bit of their jobs for them. We're getting everyone reminding them that they need to vote. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's anything. it's it's. Even um, if they disagree with you. Yeah. You know what? That's the funniest thing. If they disagree with you, you know what? The best way to like sh show it to you, vote. Yeah. 
in general. Yeah, like the... Um, the turnout is already pretty low. Yeah, I it's... I think we're still doing democracy a favor. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, um, it is a kind of like, yeah, exactly. It's anarcho-totalitarianism. Direct democracy and totalitarianism. You gotta vote for... Vote for what you want to see in the world. Uh, and if you vote for totalitarianism, you get totalitarianism. Um, but, yeah, so... I don't know. I'm, um... I'm pretty happy with the work we put out, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll have to. We ran into some computer science people who said that they would set up an official Carlton rally. Yeah, I actually would... ran into one of them uh, while I was grabbing lunch, and he didn't know that I was part of this. So yeah. it was a nice little awkward high as well. Yeah, well, I mean uh, that'll be good because if it's an official thing uh, on campus, we could probably uh, organize it ahead of time and get a big turnout. And not have security shoo us. And <laughs> not have security shoo us away. Another thing, like, security shooing me away, normally that would have really bothered me. But, uh, I'm, again, not cut out for it, but trying to cut myself into it, and I feel, like, less and less bothered when that kind of stuff happens now. Which is, I think, good. It's, uh, pushing me towards post-cringe. This was a bad time to, for me to wear sandals. <laughs> Alright, any, um, anything you'd like to say about volunteering? I, 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 I've only, uh, I've only really known you through the campaign and through volunteering, but... Um, I think we're getting to know each other better. Terms, yeah. It's yeah. Nice to have a friend. Yeah. Uh, it's a good way for me to spend my birthday. It's your birthday today. It is. Well, happy birthday. Don't celebrate it, but thank you. <laughs> happy birthday. How old are you? 28? Uh, 27. 27. 27. Wow. 27 today. Very good. Very good. Um, well, I, I couldn't, uh, I couldn't imagine a, a better birthday gift than changing the hearts and minds of youth. You know what? That's exactly But, uh, if you uh, if we pass by anything like a store and you want anything, let me know and I'll I'll, I'll pick, I'll pick I, again, you up. Sometime. I told you I don't sell. But I actually don't sell. Anymore. Well, okay, I'll do it. I'll do it for no reason other than uh, other than a, a, a thank you for helping me volunteer sure. today. Okay, well, uh, very good, and uh, let's see how the rest of the campaign goes.